Today on the farm, we're gonna install and calibrate a Green Star guidance system. There's a small bracket up here that the guidance system will actually make to. You have a little lever right here. It'll grab it and there it is. My screen here already has a bracket mounted on it. We're just gonna make this bracket to the bracket that's in the tractor. have a plug and they have provided a specific plug housing here that lines right up so all you gotta do is it'll only go in one position there you go lock it in there we go all right we got an adjustment here and one right there all right all right our screen is installed i'm ready to calibrate now so i'm going to touch this little bubble looks like my satellite bubble and right down here on the bottom of the screen screen you see cal and what it's telling me now is i need to make a line where my rear axle is so i can face one direction and then turn the tractor around face the other direction on that exact same spot and calibrate so I told I've made my line and that's calibrated and told me to change my direction. So we're going to ease out here and change our direction. We're going to face the other direction in the exact same spot. I had the tractor idled up a little bit higher than normal because we're having an issue with the bolts being low. And these John Deere's have so much electrical stuff that when the bolts are low you have a tremendous amount of issues this one for some reason has low voltage we ain't figured out the issue quite yet but we're having to keep it on a pretty high rpm to keep the bolts where we need them all right here's the tricky part i gotta put it back in the same tracks if y'all can see where my tracks are i gotta be right in the exact identical tracks Loose. I'm going to crawl in on this last bit real slow. I'm going to 
get off and check it. It go up just a little bit. this button to tell it we have done calibrating calibrating successful now let's get our equipment in here got our track 33 35r tillage negative goes right off we won't strip till kmc 36 foot all right Let's go to the field. In some of my other videos, y'all heard me uh, talk about how much I like that versatile. Uh, and I do like the versatile a lot. But these John Deere's, they will always give you sensor issues constantly every day. But they are designed to be ergonomic and you can drive this thing blindfolded it is so easy to operate it's designed so well and so thoughtfully laid out it's almost effortless to drive and operate this machine i can i can drive and operate this machine while i'm asleep this is easy to use much easier than the versatile to use but versatile does have sensor issues every john deere has sensor issues this thing will beep all day long and dislay, disable itself and throw codes do all kind of crazy stuff all day every day the first tile you crank it up and it runs like it's supposed to run until you tip cut off but it's harder to use it's not nearly as ergonomic as this tractor these are much much better designed in my opinion and much easier to operate okay i've made it Okay, I've made it to the field, and I'm going to put me a line in here. So it already has a line in, but we're not going to use that one. We're going to make a brand new line. New. Let's see. Hold on. Yep. Let's clean up. Rename. Cancel. New. Let's call it GP. Set A. So I have a set A, and I'm gonna drive to the other end of the field, and I'm gonna set B. So it's just like uh, just like your algebra teacher or your just just like your geometry teacher taught you. Shortest distance is a straight line A to B. So I just set A. I just set A, and now I'm gonna go to the other end of the field, set B and it will draw a straight line in between those two points and it will use that to guide the tractor all day long going across this field. I'm staying real close to the edge. I want my road to be right up close to the edge but not hit those light poles. Right over here and I'll pull out just a little bit there. Now I'm going to set B. Set B. Accept. And we have our lines. I'm going to turn steering on. And now I'm going to get the tractor turned around. Get it close to the road. And let the computer take over. Close to the road. I'm gonna back up 
So I'm entering the row straight. Set this 12 row strip till down into a drive. That'd be a disaster. All right, locking in GPS. That was it. Set him down. Get him to go. After I got to the field here, I laid off a set of rows and then I picked up and turned around locked my GPS back on and drove back down that same set of rows just to make sure my tracks are in the exact same set of tracks make sure I wasn't hitch over because the computer will tell you hey you're you're on the green line you're, you're on zero which is where you're supposed to be at but just because computer says it's so doesn't mean it's so you can't trust computers man everybody knows that so you drive out here and you turn around lock it on see if it'll drive back down the same set of tracks go in the opposite direction and if you can get out and your tire tracks are in the same place when you're going this way and when you're going this way you got it correctly calibrated we're running a crust buster behind the strip till i'm laying rows off my brother-in-law john just pulled up he's gonna run a crust buster behind me kind of flatten out the uh rows i'm making and so he could put his guidance on the same row as me the same exact spacing I just went to my set track and I took a picture of my point A, my lap, my long, and my heading, and I texted it to him. He then types in that info and the guidance in his tractor, and now him and I have the same row saved in our tractors, and he can fall in and run the exact same track spacing that I'm running on. I've calibrated the gps but we still a stop out here and check everything out periodically to make sure it's doing like it's supposed to do just because it says it's right on the computer doesn't mean it's right you gotta constantly check all this stuff and just make sure all the parts and pieces are working together. We have a little bit of a uh, lift arm situation earlier. I had to adjust one of these lift arms on the. I just want to lift arm here on the strip till. This was sitting a little crooked and that was making it pull to one side, which was leaving a wide middle. And then I narrow middle the other way. And the computer says, hey, you're going perfect. Everything's perfect. But if you don't get off and check for those measurements, you never know that the implement was pulling two inches to the side. Two inches don't sound like a big deal, but if you're two inches that way, and then you turn around and you're going as two inches the other way, two plus two is four. So it's actually a four inch gap when you're going across the field one direction. And when you're going back, it's four inches too close. So. You got to keep a check on all this. You got to fine tune every inch of this machine, go over every nut and bolt to make everything work just right. Using GPS, using guidance is not just climb up in the tractor, hit the button and sit back and hang out. You still are managing a lot. You're uh, checking everything. Like I said, just because the computer says you're driving straight don't mean the implement's going straight. It can go side to side. There could be a hundred things wrong uh, so that is how you install a guidance system you also there have to keep a check on your implement and that is how you run gps in these tractors thank y'all for watching see you next time